left from his Haryana residence. Home Minister Anil Vij was also sitting in the Chief Minister's car as they were spotted leaving for the Raj Bhavan. All other ministers also left for Raj Bhavan in their respective vehicles. Those are the latest visuals that we are bringing to you of Qatar along with the Haryana uh, Home Minister. For more details, let's quickly go across uh, to Arun Dhata. Arun, can you tell us where are they headed to? Well, see, Kangsha, all of them are heading to Raj Bhavan in Chandigarh, where, uh, as we've been uh, saying this, that uh, they will be resigning, uh, they will be offering their resignation to the government because, of course, uh, there is going to be a split between BJP and uh, JJP's alliance. And when BJP has uh, 40 MLAs in the uh, Vidhan Sabha of 90, the majority mark is uh, is 45 and therefore they will uh, they will they will resign and perhaps they will stake uh, the claim for the formation of uh, new government as we've been saying that uh, there are uh, six uh, independent uh, MLAs who right. are with the BJP so they are uh, in a comfortable position uh, as far as uh, majority is concerned perhaps once they resign from this uh, this government there will be a formation of another another uh, government with the support of uh, independence so but what is going to be the status of uh, the current chief minister manohar lal khattar right. that's something which is uh, very interesting and everybody is keenly uh, waiting for that moment. Arun, I'm so sorry to interrupt you there. In fact, let's quickly uh, listen in to the report that's being sent in uh, by News 18. Let's listen in to what's happening at the governor's house over there. राजभवन पहुंच चुके हैं अपने सारे कैबिनेट के साथियों के साथ हम राजभवन मौजूद हैं और पूरे कैबिनेट के साथ मुख्यमंत्री इस्तीफा दे रहे हैं जो कि न्यूज 18 सुबह से बता रहा है कि पूरी कैबिनेट के साथ इस्तीफा मुख्यमंत्री देगा इस्तीफा देंगे और वही अब हो रहा है तो आप देख सकते हैं कि जिस तरह से मुख्यमंत्री जब हरियाणा निवास से निकले तो उनके साथ गृह मंत्री अनिल विज भी साथ में बैठे हुए मौजूद थे उन्हीं की गाड़ी में बैठे हुए मौजूद थे और दूसरे जो मंत्री हैं वो अपनी अपनी गाड़ियों में सवार होकर के यहाँ राजभवन पहुंचे हैं कैबिनेट मंत्री जो कंवरपाल गुजर है उन्होंने बिना कैमरे के उन्होंने ये बताया कि हाँ पूरी कैबिनेट इस्तीफा दे रही है पूरे जो मुख्यमंत्री इस्तीफा दे रहे हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं मोहर लग चुकी है और अभी जब बाहर निकलेंगे तो कहीं ना कहीं इस्तीफा दे करके निकलेंगे और क्योंकि साढ़े ग्यारह बजे विधायक दल की बैठक बुलाई है और साढ़े ग्यारह बजे विधायक दल की बैठक के अंदर एक नया नाम तय होगा नया नाम मुख्यमंत्री का क्योंकि लगातार हमारे सूत्र यही कह रहे हैं कि मुख्यमंत्री मनोहर लाल ही एक बार फिर शपथ लेंगे लेकिन अभी जो बात निकल करके आ रही है वो ये आ रही है की मुख्यमंत्री के अलावा दूसरा नाम भी हो सकता है कोई और भी मुख्यमंत्री बनाया जा सकता है क्योंकि जिस All right, let's quickly go back to Arun, who continues to report uh, for us. Uh, Arun, all right, the latest information coming in is that expect the entire BJP to now be handing over the, their resignation. Of course, the big moot question of the hour remains, will uh, Manohar Lal Khattar continue as the chief minister or not? What is uh, the possibility of a Nayab Saini or Sanjay Bhatia that you're learning from your sources? Well, see, uh, of course, uh, as of now, there are two names which are uh, which are around uh, Nayab Saini, uh, BJP MP and state chief. Uh, he's MP from uh, from Kurukshetra, and uh, uh, there's another name uh, of uh, of uh, of Sanjay Bhatia, who's member 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 of parliament from Karnal. So these two names are uh, are around at this moment. But of course, uh, once Manohar Lal Khattar's cabinet resigns. And then, of course, there will be a legislative party meeting. And since the, the, the procedure, of course, which BJP is following at this moment, it seems that there will be a change of, uh, change of guard. Because mm -hmm. you have already uh, sent two observers to meet uh, the MLAs there. Of course, they will be sitting in that legislative party's meeting. And then uh, there will be a face on which, of course, everyone's... Uh, suggestion will be taken so whether it will be Manohar Lal Khattar for the third time uh, or somebody else but as far as the process which BJP is following at this moment it seems that uh, there is going to be 
high probability of a new face as a chief minister in Haryana. BJP, BJP knows that there has there is has been anti incumbency, of course, uh, against uh, Manohar Lal Khattar right. in the in the state. He's been two time chief minister of Haryana. Uh, Haryana, of course, will go to polls this year itself post Lok Sabha right. elections. And now at this moment, when JJP is uh, splitting with BJP, this perhaps going to be the appropriate time for BJP to make Absolutely. that uh, change. Absolutely, and that's at why Arun, I want to ask you when you're we, we're looking at the current situation at the moment, the way it's shaping up, seems like a different defining moment for the BJP in Haryana. Uh, shed light on the timing of such a decision. Why has the BJP decided to go with uh, a new fresh chief ministerial face? Uh, how crucial is the timing? You've already mentioned uh, that the assembly elections are all set to take place in 2024. But having said that, what was the role of the farmers' protest and the kind of impact it's had on the reputation of the, governor, of the governance of uh, Haryana government? Well, see, the first and foremost uh, at this moment, Akanksha, is... All right. In uh, fact, as we speak, uh, Arun, let me also break it down for our viewers. The big breaking input we are bringing to our viewers is that Manohar Lal Khattar has finally resigned. This is the big breaking news that we are bringing to you. The Haryana Chief Minister has quit as CNN News 18 has been reporting for you from morning that it will be in a matter of hours that uh, the entire Haryana government will be changing and this is the latest development that we are bringing to you that the Chief Minister has finally resigned and a new government will be formed in some time from now is what we are learning. It's back to you Arun, please go ahead. Well, see, so I was uh, talking about the feeling in BJP of uh, uh, the anti-incumbency in Haryana. Manohar Lal Khattar, of course, uh, two times chief minister of uh, the state. And uh, this is not for the first time, Akanksha. If this happens, it will happen. Because, uh, you know, even in Gujarat, when uh, BJP made uh, those changes at the last moment, before the election, the entire cabinet, the chief minister was changed. And then, of course, you saw the results, uh, you know, unprecedented victory for Bharatiya Janata Party in Gujarat. And now, when there were already talks of replacement of Manohar Lal Khattar in Haryana, uh, only perhaps BJP was waiting for the opportune time to do this, uh, uh, you know, to make this change. Now, when JJP is splitting away from BJP, uh, there is already, uh, you know, uh, a big news in the state. Uh, and therefore, perhaps, uh, you know, adding this thing with this that they are changing chief minister uh, will perhaps suit bjp at this moment and also importantly if you listen to what prime minister modi said yesterday in his gurugram's rally uh, though he praised manohar lal khattar uh, in that rally you know he said uh, manohar lal khattar has done a lot of things uh, for the people of haryana how he completely changed the face of uh, haryana in last uh, uh, 10 years he also in fact uh, gave that personal touch uh, you know to, uh, to Manohar Lal Khattar by saying that uh, the relationship that he had with Manohar Lal Khattar, you know, how they would travel on, uh, on, on a scooter, mm. uh, which Manohar Lal Khattar, of course, would bring from Rotak to Delhi. So all these things Prime Minister Modi spoke yesterday. Right. And perhaps that speech and that, uh, 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 you know, that, uh, that, that, uh, that welcome that he gave to Manohar Lal Khattar was because of uh, his departure from uh, the uh, you know right, the, the state. Right. I think uh, that's something which we can actually get out of that speech of Prime Minister. Absolutely. Modi. For all you know, Arun, that could have just been a sort of a farewell thanks, uh, a word of thanks coming in from the Prime Minister yesterday when he spoke so highly of uh, the Chief Minister, who's now resigned. As we are learning, who will be the next Chief Minister of Haryana? Stay tuned to CNN News 18 as we bring you all the latest inputs that have been pouring in. Let's also listen in to a report that's coming from News 18. का नाम हो रामनिवास सुरजा केडा जो कि नरवाना से विधायक हैं उनका नाम हो देवेंद्र बबली जो कि टोहाना से विधायक हैं उनका नाम हो ईश्वर सिंह जो कि गुलाचिका से विधायक हैं उनका नाम हो जोगीराम सिहाग जो कि बरवाला से विधायक हैं उनका नाम हो ये लगातार ऐसे नाम All right, Arun, so uh, names are already being discussed as we speak. The fact of the matter that uh, the BJP has, uh, you know, placed much optimism uh, is also one of the reasons why they've chosen to go uh, their separate path as far as the alliance with JJP is concerned. How confident now is the BJP and what has led to this kind of confidence that made them decide to part ways with the JJP?
See, Akanksha, there are uh, two things here. Uh, one in 2019, of course, BJP swept Haryana with uh, all 10 Lok Sabha seats. And, uh, uh, and at that point, uh, JJP was not with the BJP. And secondly, BJP does uh, their surveys, multiple surveys on, on their part. And when they are sure about something that they can uh, go alone and they can augur good results, uh, then only perhaps they make uh, such decisions, decisions when it comes to uh, making decisions related to alliance. Uh, as far as, of course, uh, JJP is concerned, they have been part of this government for last four and a half years. You know, they have uh, 10 MLAs and four, I think, four ministers, including the Deputy Chief Minister Dushyant Chautala. Uh, they also know that, uh, you know, in Lok Sabha elections, they want to establish themselves, they want some seats. And therefore, that was the reason why they, uh, you know, Dushyant Chautala met uh, BJP Chief JP Nadda yesterday at his, at his residence in Delhi. The meeting lasted for 30 minutes and BJP uh, made uh, very clear to, to Dushyant Chautala and JJP that they will not give any seat to uh, JJP in Lok Sabha and uh, specifically Hisar and Bhivani are the seats which uh, JJP hmm. wanted because uh, these two seats of course uh, are kind of uh, jar dominated seats and uh, you know uh, Dushan Chautalain's family has a history from these seats they won they were a member of parliaments from those seats so they, uh, they they saw this opportunity that perhaps if they uh, go along with this with this alliance with BJP in Lok Sabha election they could uh, have two one or two MPs hmm. in Lok Sabha hmm. so I think uh, you know because we all know JJP uh, came into existence in 2018 on, only. They, ha they have no representation in the Lok Sabha. They are only, uh, they are only members in the Haryana Assembly. So perhaps this was the opportune time. They thought, uh, let's get into Lok Sabha election and try to uh, you know, strike a deal with BJP, one or two seats. Uh, but it did not happen. All right. Many thanks to you, Arun. In fact, we'll continue to keep our focus on this developing news story for all our viewers here at CNN News 18. But for now, it's time for a quick break. We'll be back with the latest updates on Haryana. Stay tuned.